welcome to this episode of the Average Joe Florida. Well, today we're over here at Pioneer Hall yeah, at the campgrounds at Fort the Wilderness. Pioneer Hall at Fort, Fort Wilderness. Wilderness. And we're going to have breakfast over at the Trails End restaurant. And um, this is a day before Disney's going to be shutting down for two weeks due to the situation in America. Uh, so it's very, very sparse here. I, I, when we drove in, I should have taken a video of it because there's every other few campgrounds had a a camper there that was very, very, very empty. So we're gonna head into breakfast and uh, we'll see how it goes at the buffet for breakfast at Trails End. See you in a minute. She wants some coffee. Okay, here we are inside Trails End's breakfast. We have all the sweets here. Donut holes look good, cinnamon rolls, corn muffins, cherry danish, blueberry muffins, and apple danish. All right, see what they have over here? They have some cereal, assorted Kellogg cereal, assorted Kellogg cereal, no less. They have milk and whole milk. Oh, I'm not sure the ice cream is open. Okay. Strawberry yogurt, Greek yogurt, and all the things you would put on top of those. Some cottage cheese and some eggs. Ooh, beautiful strawberries. Fruit. Smoked salmon. Sliced meats and cheese. Warm pecan sticky buns. Bread pudding. Walnut praline sauce. Oh, I guess that goes over the bread pudding. Yes. Mickey waffles, of course. Maple syrup, blueberry syrup, scrambled eggs, westerns, bacon, gouda, fatadas, country benedict, potato barrels, and some breakfast pizza. For here, they've got some good oatmeal, cheese grits, biscuits and sausage, the biscuits, some sausage, regular sausage and bacon. Got a toaster for all your bagels here. Butter and cream cheese. Got apple butter, salted caramel butter, brown sugar, and some marmalades. And we are back here. We're gonna go sit, have our coffee, and then we're gonna go see what they have. What tastes good? Look at that. That is um, multi grain croissants. Chocolate torrestrat. Look, everything looks very good. This is one of our favorite breakfasts. Country setting. Some scrambled eggs and bacon. Some bread pudding. And some cheese grits with some sausage on the side. And my coffee. There's an outside little coffee to go area. Off to the side of the restaurant, they have a little to-go place where you could come in. Muffins, cinnamon rolls, fish. cookies, cupcakes. Coffee. So it is. 
People eating outside. I would imagine at lunchtime they serve the lunchtime. Pricing seems to be the best as far as buffets go to. No characters, but the food is decent. You can usually find it back here at Fort Wilderness at the settlement, not the encampment, at the uh, back of the resort here. You go to the campgrounds, take a little bus, and uh, it's pretty good food, right? It is very good food, and at dinner they have a lot of ribs and smoked beef. And, uh, yeah, they call it southern comfort food. Uh, ribs, and chicken, and fried chicken, that kind of stuff, and uh, maybe some greens and corn, that kind of stuff. So it's really good. But all right, so now we're walking around the outpost, the trading post here in Fort Wilderness. They have Rockets Tavern, they have beer, wine, and cocktails. Okay. Come on down here and we'll show you the sign for the new Tri Circle D Ranch that they're going to be building once they finish the resort. This is where they house all the horses and all the stuff that used to be here will be coming home again. There we go. Now we went to the old one for the Halloween event a couple years ago, but new beach, same great views. Clementine Beach is moving to Tri Circle D. They'll be building all this new again. So here is a bear trash can. It's got a complex system of opening. You feed your hand in here, which I don't want to do now because of the virus situation. You feed your hand in there and you lift and it opens a metal trash can. And it's called the bear saver. So bears can't get the trash. As we are at the Wilderness Lodge, after all. This could be for the horses, uh, a feeding watering trough for the horses to come on over and they'll drink water out of this trough. That's pretty cool. It's a watering trough here because there's a lot of horses here at Fort Wilderness. We're going over to the settlement trading post and see what they have in there. Still not a whole lot of people around. As people will start to be leaving since they're closing the parks down they are going to keep the restaurants and the hotels open as far as we know we'll see how that goes I don't know how many people would want to stay if they're not able to go to the parks at all this looks to be a tribute to I'm gonna guess the Salem witch trials they have lots of brooms up here for practice flying a little bit of Salem Massachusetts right here at Walt Disney World and here is a pressed penny machine. This is one of the least expensive ones. It's 51 cents, two quarters and a penny. Choose either Mickey, Minnie, or Goofy. You put your coins in there, hit which one you want, and the other ones have a crank handle. This one just does it automatically and it presses your penny with whatever image you choose. Is that how you feel when you're in the park? Uh, towards the end of the afternoon I am, yeah. Me too. That's for sure. 100% tired. Got Goofy as Explorer of the Wild. That's cool. That's $39.99. Do, do, do. Look at that little one. I've seen this one around the park quite a bit. That's a retro 80s shirt. Yeah. Though. These all are kind of retro 80s actually. Yep. 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 All that's old is new again as they say. Hey. The proverbial snacks and food for the campers. Uh, this is soon to be a DVC so they might be getting more. I'm sure they will. Charcoal, that's not something you find at many uh, well, Disney stores. Right, but they have a barbecue pit you can use here. Like oh, yes, they do. 
They give you a bag just the right size for barbecue. All the food you would need and toilet cheese. And it's kind of like an old-fashioned antique stuff around. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Found more, and I found more of the Salem Witch uh, brooms, transportation brooms. These are the double engine models that go with the ones outside, which are mini ones, practice brooms. These are the, the full-fledged ones. You get a lot of power on these guys. Look at those, very cool. I like that. Stay goofy. And this is the map of all of settlement and outposts in the campgrounds. When you come to Pioneer Hall you have to park at the entrance and then um, you have to get on a bus to go back to your car or to go to Pioneer Hall. My group is way ahead of me so I guess they'll wait for me. To the button. All right, folks, that's it. If you like what we do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, please, and uh, share some social media, comment down below, and we'll see you soon.